What's going on guys? Berg's back here with another one. Hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at Cannonball Plug Chew. Uh, so before we go any further, let's take a look at the presentation. Uh, so the whole thing, fairly small um, in comparison. Here's my uh, wallet. So as you can see, pretty small. It's in a completely plastic wrapper. Um, on the front, pretty much, probably the same logo that they've always used based on looking at it. Cannonball with the cannon, chewing tobacco, one plug, warning label on the bottom. Uh, then here we have Cannonball as well. On the back we've got the logo again, um, and the warning label and the barcode. And then up here there is a code. It's D12F7, if that follows uh, the rest of American Snuff Company's uh, dating, F would be June 2017. And then uh, on this side, we've got the other information. American Snuff Company, 15% US, 85% imported, sale only allowed in the United States, manufactured by American Snuff Company, LLC. Memphis, Tennessee, and the phone number, which is one eight six six eight four three zero six three six. Um, so yeah, one thing I mean, and all, pretty much all the plugs do it except Levi and Redman. Uh, they all, no matter the brand, they all come in this plastic wrap, which to me is a little, um, I don't know, not really my thing um, because I. For, wouldn't chew this uh, in a day or anything like that. It would be over a period of time. So usually to solve that, I just go ahead and throw it in a Ziploc or whatever. Because once you open this, it pretty much uh, the packaging is pretty much useless. So yeah. So taking it out, you can see what you've got. You've got essentially a brick of tobacco inside um, a wrap. This one in particular feels pretty firm, slightly sticky, but uh, nevertheless, it doesn't feel all that moist. Um, a lot, some, some problems you'll have with this is that they're sitting on the shelves in the stores for years uh, because you rarely see it, but when you do, it, it doesn't necessarily sell too well unless somebody's buying it regularly. Um, so, that being said, you can either just bite some off or take a knife to it. Uh, I think in one of my older videos I did actually take a knife to it because it was so old and dried out that it was even tough to bite off but this I think it, it feels fairly uh, fresh so we're gonna go ahead and take a chomp of it. So um, one thing you'll notice with plug, and I've talked about this before, is that you generally, at least I wouldn't, um, take quite a big of a bite off. Uh, it doesn't look like a lot, but it, it certainly feels like quite a bit because it's so compressed together that once you start chewing, it's, it, it kind of ends up resembling loose leaf after a while. Um, but at, at the initial bite of it very compressed and compacted um and that that's that also um does something to the flavor of it i find the flavor is a lot more potent i would say than many loose leaves out there um
So I've had blood a few times. Um, I've had Apple Thick Cut. I've had Levi Redman. Uh, Days Work. And there possibly might be another one, but I really can't remember. Uh, however, Cannonball, I think, was the first one I ever tried way back in, like, I don't know, probably like 2014 or something, uh, before I was doing YouTube. Uh, I was I was fascinated by the fact that it existed and wanted to get my hands on some and try it out. So it, it is fairly, I would think this is fairly fresh based on how much it's juicing up. Um, initially it seems dry, it, it, I know it's not as dry as some that I've had, like I think it was the apple, that was probably the one that had been sitting for years. Um, but uh, anyway, Plug had before loose leaf had really come along and and really been the primary chew in the chew market plug was kind of the traditional uh way to go about it plug and twist and then i believe plug had some more mainstream popularity probably a century ago um but it, it's kind of um, faded into a specialty type of product So what do I mean by that? Well, price on it is going to be higher than, or at least at the price of uh, of loose leaf. So I probably paid like eight, eight or nine bucks for this when all is said and done. Um, it, it certainly used to be less, but uh, with a normal bag of chew setting you back at least seven dollars here in Pennsylvania these days, um, that, that's about what you can in, what you can expect. Really moist, um, really thick spit too. It's kind of almost annoying, but uh, that just could be for me from what I've been drinking today or whatever. But um, also availability, I touched on this a little bit extremely hard to find uh, somebody had commented asking me where to find it um, well if you can't find it and your store won't order it or whatever northerner um, will have some basically how I find it how I've found this and a lot of the things is just purely searching 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 um, pretty much at this point, since I've been reviewing, I've probably gone to just about every tobacco store in the eastern half of the state. Uh, just because whenever I'm somewhere new or somewhere I haven't been in a while, I just hit the tobacco stores and see what they've got. Um, and that's basically how I've amassed everything uh, that I've reviewed. But I know some people don't have that ability or don't live in an area with a lot of them. So... Probably northerner you can find some plugs, um, but if that doesn't work out and you want one in particular, you can always try and bug your store to order some, because uh, chances are their their wholesaler will carry it. But so anyway, um, the taste on it—it's a very bitter, very potent chew. Um, I suppose it's a raisin taste, not really though, but it it's just that it's that original chew, not a whole lot of sweetness to it, and it's very uh, flavorful. Um, and the, the reason I noticed that especially is when some has been hitting the back of my throat, it's very, it really... Uh, really flavorful and not necessarily in a, a pleasant way but if you're you know I'm not a huge fan of the original chews I'm more of a sweet chew kind of guy 
so that's part of the reason. Other than that, it is fairly fresh, and um, as you can see, very moist. And the other thing I would notice is that um, what what will often happen with original chew is that as you're chewing it, and I'm certainly chewing it a little bit frequently or too frequently even, um, the the stuff, of, especially now here in the front, is starting to get a little mushy. Uh, the the one benefit to plug, I suppose, is that there's a nice chunk further back that's essentially untouched, almost as it was in the in the actual plug. Um, I can tell that it's still more compressed, whereas what's in the front has essentially become loose leaf. So. That might be the one advantage I see to plug, but other than that, I think it's a little bit uh, inconvenient. Maybe more nostalgic, but uh, other than that, I don't I don't really see much advantage to chewing plug in general. Now, how does this rate compare to the other plugs that I've had? Well, I think Levi Garrett and Redman still um, are quite a bit better. At least, I mean, not that this is bad or anything, but taste for what I like. Levi Garrett plug is probably the best. Um, this is probably really on par with something like Day's Work plug. Um, nothing really too distinguishing about it from that one. I believe they're made by different companies. Don't quote me on it. I, it's been a while, but I think Day's Work is Pinkerton and, and this is obviously American Snuff Company. But uh, the packaging looks almost the same. Um, the plug itself looks about the same. It's really pretty much on par with that. Uh, with that being said, I'd give it, I'd give it a seven out of ten because there's certainly nothing wrong with it. It's just the flavor uh, is a little too potent for me and not really sweet. So uh, that that's kind of the, my thoughts on it. Forgive me, I don't have any shout outs in front of me, so we'll get you all next time. Number of subscribers, it's, we're somewhere in the 1400s, uh, not really sure on that either. With the holidays and everything, I've been kind of uh, behind on everything, but uh, thank you for everyone that subscribed. Man, this is just moist and syrupy spit, I uh, will say that. Uh, but anyways, yes, thanks to everybody that subscribed. really means a lot to me. Uh, like I said, rating on Cannonball Plug is going to be a 7 out of 10. Um, yeah, so I think that about does it for today. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Social media is abergs95. Check it out. I'll see you next time. Take care.